Ashley? What do you mean these aren't healthy? I got my hair cut today. I wish I could get my hair cut every day. Hey fitties, it's Friday. I'm Kimmers and this week Ashley chose the topic. She wanted us to bust some myths. And hopefully you've seen Addie and Ashley's videos for this week. Addie busted the myth that exercising and the whole like weightlifting thing um, will make you bulk up. It doesn't believe me. I I lift weights three times a week and I'm not bulking up. <laughs> I'm living proof that there will be no bulking up. And Ashley um, dispel the myth that just because it says that it's whole wheat and just because it says it's low sugar and just because it says it has fiber doesn't necessarily mean that you should eat it because it doesn't necessarily mean it's healthy. And you should know that I also have Kashi and Fiber One and Cheerios in my pantry. Not just those non-healthy cereals. So this week is all about Busting myths and taking names. I've got three myths that I am busting today. Myth number one, cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. The truth is each one of your joints has a sack of fluid that basically keeps the bones from rubbing together and deteriorating each other. Of course the phone is ringing because I'm recording. Okay. Now my neighbor is working on his Mustang, so if the phone's not ringing, then I've got Mr. Muscle Car next door revving up his engine. Shit. Okay, where was I? Yeah, so basically, in between your joints, there's a sack of fluid, and when you bend your knuckles, when you bend these joints, when you crack them, which I'm all cracked out, the air bubbles in the fluid, they pop, and that's what you hear. And so, cracking your knuckles doesn't necessarily cause arthritis, but what it does do is it could wear down the ligaments, which could, in the future, decrease your grip. Myth number two. You should go number two at least once a day. This one is only half true. Regular poops relieve discomfort and constipation, but in fact, a perfectly healthy person may not need to go number two every day. Apparently, it's only a concern if you don't go number two at least three times a week. And my third busted third and my third busted myth, fresh food is always better than frozen. The truth is that frozen food can be just as nutritious, possibly even more nutritious than fresh food. This is because fresh fruits and vegetables are harvested at their peak frozen on site so that they keep their nutrients. It's not like fresh food, which needs to be distributed and then prepared for your produce aisle. And exposure to air and, and time and temperature can make fresh food less healthy than frozen. So there you have it, fitties. Do you have any myths that you want busted or do you know of common misconceptions in health and fitness? Then let us know in the comments or join us at the Ning, fittingitin.ning.com. And Addie, I'll see you Monday.